Uh, you're a member of the Appropriations Committee, and one of the uh, one of the things that's under discussion is trying to set what people call the spending caps deal, which would be essentially the top line numbers for the funding of federal agencies that is really the biggest thing Congress does every year. Um, is there is there a length of that deal, like three years, four years, five years, two years that you want to see uh, that you favor that uh, most of the Republican governance group folks would favor? Um, or are you more concerned about the other efforts to bring home work requirements um, in entitlement programs? Uh, that There have been sort of two competing forces here that Republicans are pushing. And I just wonder where do you come down and what you know, which part of the dial are you focused on uh, for the most part? Well, for appropriations, uh, I think it, 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 we've always held that, you know, the two-year budget cap is, is or, or spending caps, or at least set your numbers and targets so you can move forward. We're not pushing for that necessarily, but not to exceed two years because uh, the appropriations process of putting out that bill year after year is what gives us the oversight. So to say we're going to do two-year uh, appropriation bills uh, or two-year spending bills isn't where anybody in, in appropriations world is coming from. With that, that's our job, and every year we're going to make sure that we oversee it. But at least we know what the top line numbers are when you do that. As to the negotiations, look, we started off we're the only game in town. We passed the bill; it moved out. We've gained something already because President Biden said that he would never negotiate. It was going to be a clean debt ceiling or nothing. Well, now he's talking about the things that are necessary to put this debt ceiling package together. So we've already won something out of this administration by getting them to the table and then having them put in two people in place that are just going to start working on those things and making progress as to what can be done. I don't really come into this with any line in the sand that this has to be done or that has to be done. And I don't think any of our members necessarily do. That we're waiting to see that those are the things that we put out there. What is the administration willing to offer back uh, to try to get to where we need so they realize? And then certainly, as I said before, Senator Biden, Vice President Biden, he's actually part of the mix when they fixed the problems in 11. And now uh, President Biden, he's been in this uh, wheelhouse before, and this isn't new to him. And I think it's important that he remembers that it's going to take that consensus to move forward. 